In the midst of this week's floods in Victoria, an inspiring event was taking place. Despite battling rising flood waters and clinging mud, Shepparton in central Victoria went ahead and staged the National Piano Awards, an internationally recognised event. Cheryl Hall reports organisers ignored the elements this week and decided the show must go on. This may have been happening outside. But inside Shepparton's East Bank Auditorium, there was a very different scene. Eleven of Australia's best young pianists were performing the equivalent of a marathon. Four 40-minute performances each, from Bach and Beethoven to an Australian work. Competitions like this have long been held in small towns in Europe, but the idea for one in Australia came from Shepparton and couple Erna and Neil Werner 20 years ago. The early years were difficult where some of the councillors couldn't see the benefit to Shepparton. And uh, particularly when we were in financial straits, uh, it was a bit dicky there for a while. Mm. But uh, the, I'm sure the councillors wouldn't let us lose it now. Dame Elizabeth Murdoch bailed them out of financial strife in the early years. Now they enjoy the full support of local businesses and entrants from around the country. It's a great thing to do for this competition. Uh, a bit of, well, a bit of everything, I suppose. A bit of everything. Yeah, yeah. well, I got the um, Hyden, uh -huh. Hyden Sonata. The entrants are selected by the judges, one from France, one from Canada and one from Melbourne. Four of the chosen 11 vying for the $20,000 prize are from Victoria. This is uh, one of the leading competitions in Australia and uh, I've been watching the last two competitions, uh, the final, but I found that it's a really good one. A lot of the past winners have proved themselves quite successful in their careers. Uh, I think that adds to the, the significance of the competition as well. The contestants are billeted in homes around Shepparton, which meant one of them, Will Schmidt, had to move during the week because of the rising floodwaters. But it hasn't dampened his enthusiasm. It's a very high profile competition in Australia and it's internationally recognised as well. I really love the way it gives you an opportunity to perform such a variety of music from five different time periods in music history. When I'm preparing for a performance, sometimes I get cold hands because I'm nervous. And what I do is I actually give my fingers a bit of a massage, like so, and, um, and rotate them like that. Well, I studied with Will, and I, I actually used to play duo with Will and I've got a lot of respect for him. I think he's an amazing musician. But when I'm on stage that shouldn't be an issue. I'm, I'm not going to be thinking about, about the other competitors. I'll be thinking about what I have to do. So what do you think makes a good pianist? I think there's a lot of things. Um, I think obviously you need to have fast fingers. You need to be able to put in the many hours of, of practice. So you need to have quite a lot of stamina. Um, but I think also you need to have something to say uh, it's important to, you know, it's to be able to express beautiful things, philosophical things, exciting things, and to be able to do that at the drop of a hat, really. This is the 10th National Piano Awards in Shepparton. It's become so well recognised there was recent talk of the awards going to Melbourne. You approached when the recital centre opened to bring it to Melbourne. Yes, that's right. Mm. And at the mere mention that the award might leave Shepparton and go to, uh, Melbourne. to, to Melbourne, they get quite upset. <laughs> Do you think that would ever happen? Um, no, because it's unique in, the, in a country yeah. town. So you're, you're determined to leave it in Shepparton? Yes, yes. No way will it move. That's all from Stateline this week. Thanks for watching. Any